my car now. Spooky. Ugh. Like the bag lady today. Bag lady every day. Give me them damn security down here. All right, you guys. You guessed it. Another day done. So it's Friday. It is raining cats and dogs right now. Like, I just looked out my window before I left. And it is raining cats and dogs. And you guessed it again. I'm waiting for my girlfriend. I think her car will be ready tomorrow. So I'm just doing... Um, her favor you know these last pew pew these last few weeks so i get to leave a little earlier um because like i told y'all ain't too much really going on in my office so um she's a little busier than i am at the moment so i'm just waiting for her to finish up it's not even five o'clock yet it, it might be turning five o'clock in the next five minutes um i plan this is my plan for right now because I'm not super tired. Usually on Fridays, I feel like super exhausted, but I'm not super tired. I do plan to go home, change my clothes. I want to start my laundry today, Friday night. I have to do hubby and I both have like loads of clothes, um, especially now that we've been going back to work. So I want to go home and start either his or mine. So tomorrow I'm not doing that all day. Um, I just uploaded one vlog and I plan to upload the other one once I get home um, and get some more clips off my phone. I have a storage thing that I bought for my office. I want to put that together so I can better organize the massive amount of things that I have. Um, and I want to get to do my hair sometime this, this uh, weekend. So if I could get some of that stuff done tonight and then i could get the rest of it done tomorrow the thing is i have to take my car in tomorrow for an oil change i have to go to lowe's i have to go to the pet store so there's a few things i have to do tomorrow that's going to interfere with me just being focused and in the house so that's why i'm trying to start what i need to do tonight and on sunday i don't want to do anything but relax and meal prep that's all i want to do so that's my plan I don't really know if that's gonna happen but we shall see you guys you ever tried these the collagen water from um vital pro proteins this is from vital proteins and this is in blackberry hibiscus it has 10 grams of collagen three grams of sugar um every woman should be taking some sort of collagen i say from late 20s right on on to into your 30s and up collagen is very good for your skin the elasticity all that good stuff keeping your youthful appearance um yeah so that's my plan you guys i don't know you know i i've been trying to not do like v v uh, upload videos every day but at least do some sort of vlogging every day like a little clip here clip there like last night, I felt like I was just like overdoing it because I had so much energy last night. I don't know if it's that MCT oil. I don't know what it is, but I had a boost of energy. I was not even, I had to force myself to go to sleep last night. As y'all could see the clips before this, when I was um, organizing my office, I was doing, answering emails. I was just getting to it. I was just like, oh, this is great. And then I was like, oh shoot, it's one something. Like I have to go to work tomorrow. Let me go to bed, like force myself to go to bed. So I did, but I was not tired. Um, I want to say I had like a little low energy two hours ago. I ate a snack, um, which was like a yogurt, and it has two grams of carbs in it. But it's filling for, for whatever reason. It's filling, and it's good. And I didn't even really want the snack, but I know that if I didn't eat the snack at 4 o'clock, that by 6 o'clock, 6.30, I'm going to be starving and we don't need to be starving. We need to eat for um, nutrition. And 
we don't need to be waiting so long in between meals. You have to stay, well, at least for me, I have to keep myself on a schedule because that's what works for me. And I know even sometimes when I'm not hungry, I need to eat because within the next two hours, I'm going to be dead. <laughs> Hey you guys. So we're back again. Get okay, cool looking like another week down. So um I think it's about eight something. I'm in the office working. I'm multitasking. So like I told y'all earlier, I was gonna try to start my laundry. I got a load of laundry on. I just folded some clothes, put those clothes away. Now I'm trying to label and take pictures of my summer mask let me show you so these are my summer mask um, they all have really cute names like this one is the banana cream pie my little cousin helped me come up with these names um, because it's you know like a banana cream pie they are three layers of fabric with the elastic ears this one is lavender and we came up with helotrope whisper helotrope is actually a flower it's like a light lavender and that's what this is just light so that's why we came up with whisper you know like a real whisper purple light whisper i thought that was so cute so um the other ones i am working on because i have to um get some photos so i can load them i'm hoping to have this site live within the next two weeks i'm really working really really hard to um to get everything you know done and everything loaded here's another one that i have beautiful floral um fabric you know some people like plain some people like design some people like a mixture i'm i'm one of those mixture people so i have to figure out what what name we're gonna come up with all of these have been disinfected by the way um so they're gonna be sterile to whomever receives them i think i'm gonna charge maybe 10 bucks i'm not gonna charge more than 10 bucks for these but um yeah so i i got these from someone who um knew that i needed some lightweight mask so i i placed an order uh she got these to me rather quickly and i am going to you know offer them hopefully within the next um few weeks and this corona stuff i feel like is going to be around for a while so uh might as well be prepared you know and these are so much better because you can reuse them they're easy on and off when you pull this down it comes all the way underneath your chin for a secure fit and like i told y'all like if you've seen my holes of my ppe protection they do sell clips that if you need it to be tighter you can just buy a clip i might get some of those wholesale i i have to see how you know how well these masks do if the the masks do well then i'll start offering some accessories to go with them so you know business is all about trial and error so that's what i'm doing right now all right you guys so i'm actually kind of stuck to my chair right now because i don't have no pants on but um i'm wusan i'm not getting upset i um was here working trying to load and take pictures and do get this damn website finally up again and my website is giving me trouble for whatever reason i cannot log in it's not letting me access my main control panel i pay these people a lot of money to not have these problems i'm not gonna get upset all i did was i stopped what i was doing i refocused and started editing some clips and i continued bagging up um these masks and some earrings i had to put on and put them into protective sleeves <sighs> you can make a plan you could think you know what's gonna happen tonight tomorrow the next day and i'll never go that way so i'm hungry but 
I don't want to eat anything because I'm like right at my carb number and if I eat anything else that has like any type of carbs I'm going to be over so I don't want to do that but I am hungry I'm trying to think what could I snack on that doesn't have any carbs or high calories Nah, there's not much. I mean, I have some nuts, but I don't really want no nuts. You know what I want? I want a piece of cake. That's what I want. I want some chocolate cake. <laughs> I'm just being honest. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm not gonna eat any chocolate cake tomorrow. I might make myself some waffles, keto uh, friendly waffles. You make it with either coconut flour or almond flour. I have not had coconut flour yet, so I'm not sure how that'll turn out. But um, I definitely want something hearty, like that's not gonna kill my carb count for the day. So I'm just gonna wait until the morning and I'm gonna call technical support. They give you all this like, you have to have a support pen. You cannot speak to anybody unless you're paying these people. And I still can't speak to nobody. I called um, initially and I was on hold for way too long. For the amount of money I'm paying for this website, I shouldn't be on hold longer than five minutes. I can't do it. I can't do it. I might have to reevaluate. When I have the same website host that I had previously. And they were really, really good because they offer so much more than the other uh host and i like to have options and i like to have good customer service and good customer support but this is pissing me off so i don't know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna try to finish um uploading these clips that i have from two days i do you you won't know what i'm talking about because this is gonna won't be seen probably for another month all right if i don't come back because i'm not doing like i did last night with the freaking coming back kept coming back kept coming back i will see y'all probably tomorrow good morning you guys it's another beautiful day well yesterday was definitely not beautiful it was freaking storming all day okay so I literally just woke up. I grabbed my phone because I had so many alerts. I won't get into that. But my husband, such a sweetheart, he took my car to be serviced. It needed an oil change and just regular maintenance. So um, he took it. I was supposed to get up maybe an hour ago <laughs> but i was up late again last night and um he took he took the car so um i told you i was i was starving well i wasn't starving but i was hungry last night i don't feel as hungry this morning so that's good cooper ended up staying in here last night in his little portable cage because i didn't feel like going all the way back to with him in his area for now so y'all hear the little chirping in the background that's y'all boy that's y'all boy coop coop because he's in here he's he's definitely a human definitely you heard him he said bruh he got that from my husband <laughs> or bird be saying bruh mine all right so my plan I'm going to finish up some laundry. I don't have a vehicle right now, so I can't do my um, my running around to the pet shop, to Lowe's, all those places. So I'm um, just going to try to get some things done in the house. My kitchen needs some tidying. Um, like I told y'all, tomorrow's Sunday, and I just want to chill, baby. I just want to chill, mm, baby. So today I'm going to just try to get everything housework done and hopefully by the end of the day I could tackle this hair. It needs to be washed, it needs to be deep conditioned. 
big ball of dry mess. All right, I'll see you later. All right, you guys, just a little update. We're further along in the day. I'm doing my daily vlogging. I'm about to brush this hair back, but I'm putting on a baseball cap. I can't. I can't be too bothered. I plan to wash this hair and condition it and oil it and blow it out tonight. Um. So, I actually just put lotion on my feet. So I'm waiting for the lotion to kind of dry before I put my shoes on, so I won't be slipping and sliding. I was gonna head to Walmart, Lowe's, and to get me something to eat. I still haven't eaten anything all day. It is like four o'clock. Um, I had one of those shakes, those meal replacement shakes. It was okay. I'm not starving, but I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go get uh, the shrimp salad from my favorite Italian place. And um, yeah, what I wanted to come in and say real quick is while I was getting dressed and getting ready, I'm, I try to watch as many people's videos as I can. And like I told y'all in a few clips before, like my subscriptions is not showing the people that I'm subscribed to. I literally have to go and look to see if the people who I love to watch are making videos because in subscriptions, their videos are not popping up. So again, this algorithm of YouTube, I guess it's always been a mess, but now I feel like it's a hot ass mess. So I just be trying to do my part as far as supporting the people that I like to watch. So I'm making my business to go and go to their channels like Style My Curves, Styled by Kira. She changed it. Um, I saw that she was released a haul, but her haul did not pop up in my subscription. So I literally had to go to her channel, excuse me, and watch the video because it didn't pop up in my subscription. So again, I don't know what that's about. Um, if it's the algorithm like Instagram or Facebook, basically YouTube only shows you the people who you you're watching. Um, so if you don't, if people are not making videos on the regular and you're not watching them on the regular, you're not going to see their videos. And this is just my assumption. I, I don't know, but this is how it works on Facebook and Instagram. The people who you usually interact with comments to look at their stuff, the algorithm shows you that person's stuff. Those who you don't interact with, you don't like their stuff. You ain't gonna see that shit so i'm just assuming youtube is the same so if y'all liking people's videos or y'all enjoy watching people make sure you support those people make sure you are watching their videos make sure you're commenting and you're liking so that those people's videos can show up in your timeline um I'm, I'm i'm doing the same um anyway i was watching someone's video i don't want to say her name because i don't want to bring any unnecessary attention in a negative way to this young lady but she's one of the girls that i like to watch she's a younger woman well she's younger than me i really like watching her because she is a boss okay she is reminds me of when i was in my 20s just hustling you know trying to accomplish my goals just doing whatever it takes to accomplish my goals i love to see driven people like that i love to see people that actually are taking their lives seriously we got two seconds on this planet don't you want your life to be the best it can be like don't settle for whatever it is that you have keep grinding keep hustling keep figuring out a way to get to the next level keep figuring out how you're gonna experience all that life has to offer because in two seconds it's over you know what i'm saying so this is why i like watching certain people rather than other people but um my whole point in saying is that i guess she's feeling discouraged now she got way more followers subscribers and all of that than than me um she's been on youtube a very long time though and she never quit like i remember back in i want to say 2013 if i had to guess is when she started making videos like in her early 20s and um she's always been very consistent her editing is great all that good stuff but i guess people start to feel the pressures of youtube and this is why i didn't want to mention her name because i don't want to see i don't want to make it seem like i'm given judgment at some later point i will probably shout her out because i just like in her channel and i plan to get back into that i used to shout people out all the time just the people that i like you know i'm not looking for anything in return um but she made a video like and she was just like so sad and saying that her channel is not growing as fast as she wants and she mind you homegirl got like I want to say at least 50k at least 50k subscribers now again i don't know what's going on with youtube because i see like a lot of people hold on i see a lot of people even like the really big youtubers that be getting like a hundred thousand two hundred thousand views 
they be having like 20 comments or like 100 comments like do people not comment anymore like i don't know when i was on youtube heavy the comments was where it was at like you got to um meet other youtubers in the comments and just interact with everybody i don't know if people just that's not the thing anymore i don't know i had my likes turned off on my video for like a really long time and it was basically because i felt like people judged you off of you know how many how many subscribers you have how many people are liking your video like and i just was like you have to be here because you enjoy this content not because you seeing how much traffic i'm getting or how many you know what i mean so to be honest with you my last video i think i accidentally didn't uncheck the the like thing and you know people were liking it again and i'm like do i want to leave it on or, or do i want to turn it off like i don't know like i don't care for me personally but i feel like in this day and age this youtube world the internet world people are just judging you off of other people they're not judging you off of what you really bring to the table they want to know who has the most subscribers who has the most people commenting who's liking your shit like i don't want to be judged off of that i just want to be judged off of you enjoy my content that's it you know so like to be honest with y'all too like my subscribers things is, is private but it's only private for the same reason that i just said i just felt like people gravitated towards you for the wrong reasons when we're talking numbers within the last few months like right right when i made that r kelly video that's when my subscribers took off um and y'all know i don't never stay active for a consistent basis people unsubscribe you know i'll be making videos that be be deep and then people don't like me anymore and that's okay that's that's just what it's always been on my other channel i want to say at some point i had like nine thousand subscribers and i thought that was so awesome that's when i was partnered with style Hall. by the way i found their contract that i had let me show y'all Make sure that ain't none of my personal. I'll show y'all the top. That that shit was a joke. Okay, that shit was a joke. These networks, that whole I don't do they still have networks? I have no idea. But that shit was a joke. Anyway, at some point I had like nine thousand subscribers on my main channel, and I thought that was amazing, and it was definitely amazing for me because I never was consistent. I've noticed that definitely being consistent helps everything with your channel i sidebar too much back to homegirl my whole point was she was feeling discouraged because she didn't feel like her channel was growing i guess like some of her counterparts or you know some of the people that she likes to watch or what have you and i just want to say to everybody not just to my young girls out there um if you touch one person in your video two five ten however by being entertaining by teaching someone something by being an inspiration with your fashion by showing somebody how to make something by doing a cooking video if you touch even just one person you winning like i feel like people get too caught up with numbers and um who's really watching you you know listen you touch one person with whatever you're doing on your channel you like to talk about gossip you like to talk about religion whatever it is that you like to talk about if you touching one person i say one five five to ten five, five to twenty whatever it is i don't care what the number is you are doing your job and you are winning that's it stop worrying about who got more subscribers than you who's getting more like, likes who's getting more comments because that shit does not matter like i said the people who i mostly enjoy watching are the people who are not concerned with that who are not concerned with being you know famous youtube famous you being YouTube famous is cool. Don't get me wrong. The more subscribers you have, the more all interaction, definitely that translates sometimes into coins. But it cannot be the only reason you are you are pursuing, you know, what you like to do. Again, for me, YouTube is a hobby. It's fun. I talk my shit. I uh, capture my memories. I share whatever's going on in my life, my truth, you know. And again, everybody ain't going to agree with me and um that's it i'm operating from a place of love i'm operating from a place of truth always like i'm just gonna always be me and it's either gonna be a love or hate situation and those are the people that i like to watch um 
because those are the people who are, are genuine it's organic it's not forced we don't do the forced stuff here we don't we don't force people to get on camera over here we're not forcing people to look at us we're not we're not doing all of that i get on this camera most of the time looking at just my normal self you know what i mean because this is me this is me every day i'm not gonna put on a big show for the people out in the world and this is not what i'm living in my real life or this is not who i am in my real life i don't wake up with a full face of makeup on i hardly ever do makeup i, I do a little bit when i go to work but and if those that do i'm not throwing no shade i'm just saying i have been on youtube for a while observing how everybody gets down and there are people who will not get on camera at all until they look like a completely different person like if you if that makes you comfortable who am i to judge you but at the end of the day you have to know where that's coming from you know what i mean like your brand is your brand but at the end of the day most people want something that's real and organic you know or maybe not because the way these these people set up <laughs> this day and age i don't know y'all see this shirt it said didn't you know that i was a savage i've had this t-shirt i want to say three four years i've never worn it somebody sent me this t-shirt actually from youtube and i've never worn it and i finally finished going through all my bins you guys and yeah i don't i don't know what happened to all my summer clothes so maybe the movers took it i don't know i'm definitely missing a lot of stuff but that's fine because i want to get rid of some stuff anyway but um i'm wearing this shirt today gonna go get my food gonna go to lowe's and then we're gonna come back hubby and i probably spend some time together we'll eat we'll watch some some tv maybe a movie i don't know and then um i definitely want to do this here tonight because tomorrow or like i said i want to relax and i just want to do my meal prep and that's it all right that's all i have to say that was my message bye i freaking hate when i be recording and then i accidentally delete the whole clip because that's basically what happened what i was saying was you guys um i'm not gonna go to walmart today i'm gonna go tomorrow because it's already 5 30 i'm riding with hubby we had to stop at one of our properties to pick up something and then we're gonna go get something to eat and um after that i don't know the the, the plans kind of change now because it's so late in the day he's been out basically all day and i've been in the house doing house stuff all day so we'll see what we get into so we made it to the um to the place the um place i like to come to this italian place they're famous i don't really give y'all names to certain things because people are crazy on the internet and they figure out where these places are and they become stalkers so when y'all yeah me talk about places if i don't mention the name just know that i know the internet is a crazy place and i keep certain details out of vlogs but anyway hubby is looking so cute today like he didn't even come upstairs last night um he was downstairs and if y'all watch the sh was it not the shot um snowfall um jam and jerome's only the people that watch it would know what i'm talking about so what uh, hubby we got the whole new sono speaker system so he'd be like, yo, I'm in, I'm in jam and Jerome. Like when he put his music on and he's downstairs, whatever. So I just left his ass down there. I was like, all right, well, do your thing, homie. And he ended up falling asleep downstairs. So when I woke up, I was like, oh, he ain't even come upstairs. Sometimes he'll fall asleep and then, you know, he'll make his way upstairs. But he didn't come upstairs. He was right in the same damn spot this morning. And I was like, you good? He's like, oh, I'm great. Whatever. So, and then, you know, he went to get my car's oil changed and all that good stuff but he looks so cute today his little outfit or whatever he said he had his own business to take care of so you know do you boo but um this place is always crowded my whole point is y'all sidebars is just part of me it's always freaking crowded and i'm saying it again everybody ain't broke y'all done heard me say that before everybody ain't broke child because this place be the scenery is really nice so i'm gonna show y'all they have the outside seating hold on I can't okay so you could kind of see like they got the chairs and the tables set up right here for the outside seating this is the entrance over here look at these beautiful trees and stuff really nice i don't know if they're doing um 
what do you call that i don't know if they're doing um i, I see everybody getting their food to go this guy got a weird ass mask on they don't look like a mask they look like um a plastic cut with strings when they i mean i guess you do what you gotta do right it's like everybody's coming out i don't know if they have in-house dining yet i don't i don't think in new york that every restaurant got the the go-ahead and a lot of people here are just like even with the go-ahead look another car pulling in this place be popping there you go hubby let me show y'all hubby he looks so cute hold on his little with his little hat on his little shorts and his little all right i gotta go so y'all see me so a couple of things i might show the next time what you got this time the burger did you have that before i never had it i'm taking a chance but i'm getting it because I, I like the rigatoni, so I got some staples, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But I got that the few last few times. Mm -hmm. I saw a couple of things where I was like, hmm, I could maybe do chicken franchise one day. Or I could maybe do... There was a couple of other things that... Put you Yeah, piqued my interest. But the burger, because I was going to... For some reason, I had a taste for a burger today. Mm -hmm. And while I was out, I was going to stop and get me a burger for my... No fries. I just wanted to get me a burger because I had a taste for it as a snack. Mm -hmm. Just a Sunday. You're to looking eat. too snatched to eat fries, right? Stop. Yeah. But, uh, no, no, no. I just didn't. I just didn't have the taste for the fries at that particular moment. I just wanted the burger. The burger. I could eat my burger and I could just go. Mm. Um, but um, for for one reason or another, I don't think I got it. The time in or what I don't feel like stopping. Because sometimes that's why I don't eat too. Like sometimes, which is stupid, but like I be going. going. Like I don't want to stop. You know what I mean? Which going, you need going. to stop for nutrition. But right. sometimes it's like. All right, you guys. So I am back home. Um. I've been back home for a little bit, but I uh, was eating my food. Me and hubby was yapping, as we tend to do. And he wanted me to download the Showtime. He wanted me to download the Showtime app on his TiVo so he could finish watching Billions. Um, and that took me forever because uh, it wasn't letting me. And then I had to troubleshoot. And then come to find out, they never finished filming Billions anyway. So the episode that he was looking to see is not available because Corona stopped production. Well, that's what it said online. I don't know. So then I went to go get my fire stick so he could watch something on the fire stick and I had to update it. Like, it was just too much, right? But I was full. I'm still full. Like, I ate that whole salad. Sometimes I can get two meals out of it if I'm not hungry, but I was hungry. So I ate that whole salad. I'm looking around my area and everything is just like getting, coming together. Um, nice and clean. I have my, I don't know what they call these. This one is from Ikea. It's from Ikea, but I got it from Amazon. It's the little bookshelves. I'm going to move that over here. And um, then the thing that I'm building, the cart thing that I'm building with the drawers is going to go over here. And there's another storage piece that I need because I don't have enough space for my products to be all here. So, yeah. Um, and like I said, this is not going to be my permanent space because if it was, I would have gotten some taller, wider, heavier pieces to store. Because I don't like, y'all know if you've been watching for a long time, I don't like to look at stuff. I don't want to see a bunch of stuff in my face. Like, I want to be able to put it away and close the drawers or i like loose like piece, pieces where although they're clear and see-through everything is like kind of in its own little compartment like i i like that kind of stuff like right now i have the a metal shelving one two three four metal shelving unit here there's four shelves it's like a medium size and it has like all my shipping boxes it has some inventory boxes that I have of different things, my tissue paper, boxes, it's just, it's just a bunch of stuff, and my printer is there, um, but it's messy, and I need more space because a lot of this stuff needs to be separated, and then there's the bookshelf, which I'm moving on this side, and then in this corner will be the new, the new drawer system that I got, so I'm hoping that all this works out. Because in this room, I do everything. I'm going to school. I'm doing YouTube. I'm doing my business. I'm doing everything in this in this office. Um, so I need all this stuff to function. But it needs to be neat and clean. I have stuff sitting here that needs to be hauled. Let me show y'all. 
all this stuff here needs to be hauled. As you can see. Oh, I got a new carpet. It needs to be vacuumed. But I bought this carpet from... Where did I get this carpet from? From Walmart. I changed out the other carpet that I had because that carpet was made... That carpet was made out of mohair and it's very sensitive. The, the fabrics, the fibers, whatever. And I was just dropping all type of stuff on it. It was getting snagged and stuff and I don't want to mess it up. We actually had plans for that particular, it's not a carpet, it's area rug for a, a different room. So I just cleaned it and put it away. And I got this carpet, which I don't mind if it gets dirty or anything. I got this on a really good deal. I think it was $75. I paid $22 in, in Walmart. It was on clearance. So that's what I got it. It's dark, it's gray, navy and gray, which is fine. Um, and yeah, that's that. So I'm gonna go start my hair. I have to comb it out first because it is a little tangled. So I just dampen my hair and then I comb it out. Oh, let me show y'all. My plant that was in here, the green part, the little tall part, it died. I don't know if it was too much in the sun or it was dry. I don't know, but I, I bought two new succulents and I replanted them. Let me show you. So these are the two new succulents here. And hopefully they'll do well. This is just bad on, on every level. So first of all, Disney uh, fans. Like, next one that is. Right. Look at y'all. It's about to go down. Stop playing. No. You don't be recording shit. Wow. Oh, now I get it. Can't even go out there. It's raining too hard. Well, at least we got out before it started pouring. Hello. Oh, I got an order of a new umbrella. And guess who out there? My pants feeling good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.